I like to um, keep a shovel in my trunk, and I have for all these years, um, in case I need to dig for Angie. I really anticipate the spring so much because in the dead of winter, you know, and the ground's so frozen, and it, you can't even get the shovel in. I would just pull over at the side of the road and, and look for her. I just can't give up. And if it means taking a shovel and, and digging to China, I'm going to look for Angie. She was 28 when she went missing. On November the 1st, 2003, it was my son's daughter's uh, fifth birthday party and we were having it here and Angie and her husband didn't show up and I kept calling and wondering, where are you, where are you? Then her husband came two hours later and said she was gone and said she had ran away with another man. But we knew that she had not ran away with another man. The next morning, I was at the sheriff's department and I filed a missing persons report. I was so scared. I knew instantly something was real wrong. This is what the billboards looked like. Looked really strange to see such a billboard. They're so big. You know, you people notice those they they can't help but see the billboard. It didn't it didn't help me find Angie in the end, but anything that I have done is is productive. You, you have to just keep trying and trying and never giving up. I'm just gonna post a flyer of Angie uh, on this post. Um, one of thousands, <laughs> basically. It was just a long time. I just kept calling the police department, the sheriff's department, asking, have you heard anything? Is there anything? And I really couldn't get any help. It was almost as if she was dismissed from the get-go. She never even stood a chance. But I've had to learn over the years how to become more forceful because that's what you have to do. Well, he said that they had gotten into a fight and she fell off the deck and hit her head on a rock and died. But he said that he uh, sat with her for a while, and then he wrapped her up in a tarp and he put her in the car. He didn't put her on an island. Even the police even said that's impossible. Uh, he served exactly four years and he's been out for years now and, and she's still missing and he can never be charged again. I even went to visit him in prison and begged him, literally begged him, to tell me where I can go collect her remains. He won't tell me. I used to make other flyers that says I'm looking for her exact remains. And, um, and that actually says too, you have to have the exact remains to collect that reward. I don't care how many people say she's in a better place, let it go. I don't care, that's not the same. If they were in my shoes, they would want their, their child's remains. She deserves a dignified burial, just like anybody does. I have to find Angie. I have to find her as her mother. I, I will never give up.